All right, what's good with y'all? It's Draco. As you can see, I'm in the shop today, cooling. I'm the only one here. Been here all day. But I had some downtime, and I thought, you know, now is the perfect time to make the video I want to make. And I just want to give my uh, top five pieces of advice for beginner barbers. Now, my number one piece of advice if you're starting off in the barber game is be patient. You know, if you're starting off with barber school, it's gonna take you about a year and some change, even two years if you go part-time to finish. And to learn the skill itself and to finish school and to get into a shop and to get your clientele, it's gonna take a lot of patience. I personally started um, barbering so that was a fast way to get to the money. I thought I'd get in quick, get out quick, make my money, but that wasn't the case at all. It was a very long process and I'm just starting to reap what I sold almost two years ago. Um, and I'm just starting to reap those things now, you know, but I was playing long term and, you know, I have no regrets. I have no complaints, but if you're getting into this industry and you think you're going to get in and get all this money fast, you're not. You're going to have to learn the skills, learn the, learn the fundamentals, get your license and build your clientele. All right. So number two, I would say is have confidence. You know, if you're nervous about a certain cut or whatever, I'd say just dive straight into it, whether you're in barber school or in a barber shop. This is what I did when I was a barber, or I should say starting off while I was in barber school, I was working in a shop and at school, I would take advantage of all opportunities. You know, they'd be like, who wants to practice scissors or who wants to practice fading? And I would jump ahead of everyone else and be like, me, 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 me. To the point where the owner and the teachers had to tell me like, yo, like, like we gotta give fair chance and fair opportunity to everybody else, which I think is bullshit, you know what I'm saying? If someone's more hungry than you and they're taking that first step, they should be able to get there every time. That's just my opinion. But it is what it is. Um, me being in a shop, some clients would have like some hair I didn't know how to cut that well. Or they would ask me to do things that I did not know how to do. But with my confidence, I just said, yes, I'm going to take you. And if I fuck you up, I fuck you up. And that's what it is. Because how am I going to learn how to do, you know, an undercut or whatever the hell kind of haircut it is if I don't practice? If I say... No, I can't do that haircut because I don't know what I'm doing. How am I going to learn how to do that haircut? You know what I'm saying? So maybe it had to mess somebody up for me to learn how to do that fade later. You know, when the third person comes in with the undercut, I've already told the last two guys I know how to do it. So by the time I get this third guy, he's probably going to be somewhat satisfied with the cut. You know what I'm saying? So in the short, short term, it might hurt you a little bit. But I say in the long term, which is what we're playing for, in the long term, if you just keep taking those cuts and you just keep putting yourself and throwing yourself in situations where you're uncomfortable, it's going to help you out. And you know, that all comes with confidence. All right. So number three, I don't really know what to word this, but I would say just use all the tools that you can use Andy's masters, use Babyliss clippers, use wall, use gammas, use all types of clippers. You know what I'm saying? I got a few right here. I got the, uh, cordless seniors and I got, uh, the JRLs, which I don't think even have a cord. So I'm not going to say cordless JRLs. They're just the JRLs, but you know, um, I could have just stuck with these seniors and not bought anything else, but I just wanted to kind of like experiment on what feels good with me. And now these are like my daily drivers what I use every day. Um, I had the masters in the past. I use the 76ers, but the reason why you want to use multiple different clippers from different brands is because you might not feel like a certain clipper is working for you, especially in the beginning. Like clippers make a big difference in my opinion, because I was using the masters and I was just not getting where I wanted to be at the speed I wanted to be. The moment I switched to a wall clipper, everything started to click for me. I don't know if this works for everybody else, it just worked for me. And I feel like it'll work for you too. When you find a machine or a clipper that works for you, it's gonna help you learn faster, learn the fundamentals with one clipper after you um, get the right feel and then expand your horizons. And maybe you might like something more or less, you know what I'm saying? But that would help you a lot. You know, I was kind of stagnant because like I said, I was using the master clippers. I switched to a wall clipper and my whole learning process, you know, skyrocketed. All right, number four, I would say is networking. You know what I'm saying? Make sure all your homies in barber school, you know what I'm saying? Just network yourself. You don't gotta be everybody's friend, but you can network with everybody, get in contact with everybody as much barbers, shop owners, all types of stuff. It's just good to network, period, no matter what you do in life. But if you can network with these people, one day you might open a shop, want, want to open a shop. And, you know, because you network so much, you know so many people, it won't be no problem for you to get someone to work in your shop or help you in the future. 
Um, I feel like in any career, you know, you want to network, of course, but especially in barbering when it's so business and um, uh, personal based, you know, you need clientele, you need um, barbers. So if you could just network and get your name out there, even like before you even start barber school, you can start telling people like, hey, I'm a barber. People used to go to school with, people you go to school with. I'm a barber, I cut hair now. Start posting pictures on your Instagram and whatnot. Like just network as best as you can because you're gonna need it um, on those slow days. You know, you're gonna need as much pull as you can from all these people. So network the best that you can, whether it's passing out business cards, Instagram posts, word of mouth, posters, phone numbers, text, you know what I'm saying? Do all that good stuff. All right, and my last point, it might be the, one of the most important points on this list is be a sponge. You know, when I was in barber school, we didn't really have teachers in barber school, but we had, uh, I had a friend named Louie. He knew how to cut already when we went to barber school and he would do demonstrations for us every morning. And I would be, you know, one of the few people that would actually sit there and actually watch him cut for the most part and ask him hella questions. You know, I'd be on top of him like, why are you doing this? Why are you switching this? Why are you using this clipper? Why are you using this card? You know what I'm saying? All types of things like that. I would sit there and just watch him cut and he was cold blooded, you know what I'm saying? He's still cold blooded to this day. And I would just absorb as much as I could. Even people that were the same level as me, like new, if they did something better than me, I would just kind of watch it, kind of like take that game. And you know, I do that with anything, but be a complete and total sponge, learn from everybody. Even when you're in a shop, like look at your coworkers cuts and maybe this person over here fades better. This person back there is better at lineups. This person over here is better with a razor. You know what I'm saying? So take his razor game, take his fade game, take his lineup game and make that you. That's what I did. But you always want to be, you know, a student of the game first. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to just end this list right here. That's my top five piece of advice for new barbers. If you like the video, you know, like, subscribe, but uh, I'm out.